Just going to maybe do a little bit more adjusting here to really try to get this just right. Oh, hey, didn't see you come in there. Looks like you're ready to build the German U-Boat Type 21. It's a very interesting build with a lot of intricate parts, but with its little split hull here and all that detail on the inside, it's definitely a unique build when it comes to 3D metal models. And being an older metal earth model, it definitely has some unique challenges that we're gonna to face together. So if you're gonna be building this with me, first thing I'm gonna say is, take your time. Make sure that you're double checking all the instructions. Lord knows I uh, had a couple of times here where I made a few mistakes and I had to take a couple of things apart. Very, very easy mistakes that I really shouldn't have made just because I was rushing. So take your time. Second, we're going to need to talk tools. What tools are you going to need for this build? In this particular case for our German U-Boat Type 21, I use nippers to cut out all of our pieces, followed by some tweezers here to kind of help us form and shape all of our pieces. Now I use these flat ones to get our generic pieces built, and then I use these guys here to help me insert our pieces throughout the build. Then finally, I use my tab bending tool here to secure the majority of our tabs. And you don't need these three tools. A normal pair of tweezers will do the same thing. It's just these ones here make things a little bit easier for me. Next up on the list, we need a good pair of pliers. These are gonna help you straighten out some of your pieces that actually might get a little crooked while shaping them in place. And finally, we're gonna use a dapping set here to help us with the shaping of the hole and with a few other pieces. I'll show you how we use that one a little bit later. Again, these are just our recommendations and you really don't need anything with this kit except for a good pair of nippers and a good pair of tweezers here to get the job done. But of course, having all of these will make your life a lot easier. All right, now that we've spoken about the tools, Let's get down to the workbench, open up our package, and begin our build. And just like that, we have all of our pieces needed to build the German U-Boat Type 21. Let's go ahead and get started with our first piece here. And this is just going to be bent around our second piece. Let's make sure that we grab our tweezers here. And if we hold these two pieces up together, we can kind of get an idea of actually how much we need to bend this. And there we go. So you can see, yeah, there's a little bit to do here. Let me make sure actually I'm putting this on the right way. That's important. So what I'm gonna do to get a nice little bend here is just do a little thing like that. And that should be just about enough. Okay, what I'm gonna do right now is temporarily twist these because if I bend them, they're going to fall apart. So, We'll just do one. See how it keeps falling apart like that? So we're gonna do. And there we go. Our first piece there. Not too bad. Now we can grab the other side here. And we're gonna kind of do the same thing. I'm just gonna do a nice little quick little run through here is to kind of get a nice start to our shape. Nothing crazy. Okay. And now same thing on this side here. We're just going to twist these guys right now. We're going to come back and fold them a little bit later, but right now, just to kind of get this started, we're going to do this. And you can see that this edge here needs to be bent a lot more. So we're going to do that too. I'm going to bend our tab just a tiny bit. There we go. Looking pretty good. Okay, and now we're going to fold in our little details here. So let's just push this like this gets an interesting little kind of bend here, something like that. Let's 
straighten our ladder just a little bit there. I think that looks pretty good. I forgot that we're actually forming the inside details here as we go. So I'm going to keep my mind about that. Maybe slow down a little bit. This is a little bit of a different uh, build than I'm used to doing, especially considering we've done some interesting stuff over our time. This is just an older build. And when it came out, there were so many people that were saying that this is one of the hardest builds out there. And apparently it comes to when we're doing these pieces right here where everything kind of falls apart. I guess we'll see when we get there. Make sure you do the opposite. So if you do one clockwise, do the other counterclockwise. There we go. Straighten up that top there. It will get a little bit bent out of shape because of uh, having to shape that little tiny bit of metal at the bottom. There we go. Okay. Now we just a matter of folding all this up. There we go. Excellent. All the little bits of metal are bent. And now we can attach this on. Let's just make sure that we have a little point here on the back. And we're also going to make sure that we have the circular detail on the opposite side here. I'm actually following the description there, or I'm sorry, I'm following the pictures there and kind of orientating this to that. So if we're looking at a diagram, it looks something like this. Take these little tabs here and give them a small bend just to kind of help me get them in place. And now these guys are all bent down. So we're going to do that here because this kind of really does help us make this piece a lot more solid. Just be careful when you're holding it. It does want to squish. Okay. Excellent. All good to go. That's a little crooked there on top, but we can fix that in a little bit. Let's continue on here. The next step we're going to be doing is kind of attaching some bigger pieces here. The length, I'm assuming this is kind of the top part of our submarine. We're going to take these uh, two little tabs here. We're going to bend them right down just like that. And now we are going, you know what? I actually did this wrong. And uh, given that this, this kind of submarine is kind of important to keep right, let's do it the right way. So this actually gets bent down like this and then gets inserted like this. There we go. And now, Okay, looks a little crooked. I had one tab bent a little bit more than the other and that should straighten, now this should straighten out. No, it doesn't, why? But they are both the same. Okay, you know what? We're rocking with it. Actually, that straightened out right there. That's weird, man. It straightened out after I attached it. Bizarre. Anyway, now that we got this here, we need to uh, bend down our little wings here. And now they get bent 90 and then like that. I'm gonna tuck it in just like that. So bend straight down, grab the other half here and then just kind of tuck it in there we go. Now we grab our piece from earlier. So the way we line this guy up here, this little flat piece is gonna to go towards the little feet in the back, if you will. Let's see if we can get this together. There we go. A little bit of a struggle, but not much of one. These all get 
a nice twist. So we're gonna use the opposite side here. We're gonna press a little bit hard, making sure not to over bend things, but also making sure that we follow the principles. We're gonna do clockwise followed by counterclockwise, just like that. Very good. Okay. And it looks like it's time for us to really get started on some interior detail here. This is the engraved side, so we make sure that we keep it on this side here. And we're also going to grab some small boxes. Boxes are always super easy to bend. Just matching up our four corners here. go looks like all of our pieces here are connected with a twist easy enough the simple little boxes I like the little easier bits of detail it's a nice little break it's funny too because I was looking at this model for so long and I was thinking to myself man that's just gonna be a difficult model and I don't know if I really want to build it right now and it kept getting pushed and pushed and pushed but here we are Okay, there we go. Two little bits of box detail added on and looking schnazzy. And we're gonna put this down now and we're gonna work on some interesting kind of bridge detail, if you will. I'm curious to see how well this is gonna hold up before we actually uh, put it down here. Um, first thing we're gonna be doing is grabbing these. Let's just line them all up here. Okay. Now these ones here go on top. So let's grab this right here. This is our piece. And we're gonna just bend it down like this. Engrave side on top. There we go. And now we're gonna grab these little tiny pieces here. And we're gonna make sure that the uh, smaller bit here is on top and the bigger bits on the bottom. Let's see if we can kind of just do the two pieces here right now. Uh, or sorry, the three pieces here. Now, before we go any further, let's make sure we're actually putting this on right. Yeah, we are. Okay, now that we got that, uh, I only secured two tabs there, and the reason for that is because I wanna get this other bit of detail in first. Once I get both these pieces of detail in, then I'll secure the back. Just because by securing all the tabs on the back, it might make this part a little bit difficult to get into. There we go. That actually looks pretty good, I think. Okay, well with that, let's move on to our next piece here, which is a combination of whole, a whole bunch of other pieces. It's actually pretty easy to put together. Let's go ahead and just put this right here for right now. We're gonna grab our little uh, floor here and kind of place it into place. If I can pick this up. Okay, and grab this right here. Excellent. Now we're gonna grab this, what looks like to be an old school Pizza Hut sign and we're gonna form this guy. Pretty easy to do as well. Just gonna bend this down just a little bit here. And then we're gonna bend this side down and what that side's gonna do is kind of tell us how much we need to bend this. In this case here, it's just a little bit. Oh, we're gonna grab our uh, pliers for this bit here. And the reason for that is because it's a small bit of metal. There we go, excellent, okay. And now we're gonna do one of these, just like that. And just like that. Cool. Oh, no, sorry. That back piece does not go like that. It actually goes up. 
Luckily, this metal is more than uh, one bend metal as we're used to. This stuff here is actually a lot stronger. And usually what you can get is about three bends out of it before you're screwed. So there you go. Looking pretty good if you ask me. Let's see if we can just straighten that out just a little bit better. There we go. Now we can bend this a little bit here and do one of these. And I guess we're just kind of making stairs in a kind of a way there. And there we go. I just kind of follow the diagram the best I possibly could there, but I think it did pretty good. I'm going to actually grab it right here. Oh, I think I did a really good job. This is an interesting piece, I got to say, guys. Um, I'm trying. I'm going to just secure that like this and secure that like this. And now I think it's just about a matter of putting this into place. There we go, just kind of trying to straighten everything out here, but I think that looks pretty good. What do you think? How is yours looking? Well, uh, yours is looking just as good as mine. Now it's just a matter of getting these little fins here into place. Okay. Now this time the uh, longer side goes on top. And this looks like it's inserted right here. Got it, got it, got it. And with this one, it's the smaller side. And this guy goes up here. Okay. Okay, looking pretty good. Now we gotta do another one of these. Uh, it looks a little bit different. But again, just a lot more boxes, I think, really. Let's take this here and lay it flat. And then we're going to grab parts 21 and 22. Looks like 22 gets shaped into 21. Okay. And now this gets inserted like these. There we go. Looking pretty good. entertaining that was entertaining yeah push you down
There we go. Our small little bits of detail there are all finished up. And now we can place this onto our uh, submarine here. And I can see why they wanted all the details flat. And I actually forgot to do that. So let's go ahead and just flatten all these guys back out real quickly. One momento. Boop, whoop. Boop, whoop. Nice and flat. Look at that. Now we can put this inside. Awesome, 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 awesome. That looks so cool. Um, again, I think that I gotta kind of straighten this out just a little bit, but overall, not bad. I'm liking it. That's a big gap. I'm not liking the gap though there. Oh no, that was not my intention. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we can move on to our next step here, which has us some putting on some interesting ribbon details. Grab this guy here, bend it back. I think that's correct. Hopefully so, otherwise we're in trouble. Excellent. Not bad, a nice little railing there. Okay, now we need part 26, which is this little guy right here. This is also kind of like a little box. Sorry about the cat hair there. My cat decided to give lovies before I got on camera here. Unfortunately, he's gotten very interested into uh, metal models lately. So now I have to kind of lock the door behind me when I come into the building area. Didn't realize a time machine would be so overtaken by such a small little feline, but here we are. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now, let's take our next little bit here, which is another floor piece. And this goes like this. There we go. And now I need parts 28. And this goes underneath. With the uh, triangle bit here facing us away from the tabs. Okay, there we go. And now I'm gonna do one of these, I believe. And this should, should go into place. Make sure you put it on the bottom tab there in the corner. There's two of them right here close to each other. You want to put on the bottom one. Okay, there we go. And I'm actually going to put this in place with my tweezers. go there we go All right, that looks pretty good. I need to do a little bit more straightening down here, but I think right now we're gonna have to deal with what we deal with. Uh, let's move on to page five now, where we're gonna be doing some more interior work here, starting off with something kind of like we did earlier, 
we have to build a ton of boxes and the boxes are gonna go right here on this piece. So let's put that down and grab these dudes right here. These are just really tiny boxes. And boxes are pretty simple to build. The hardest part is the last little leaf here, but it's kind of hard to see, I know, on camera, but basically I just push it in once I bend it first, and then I get a nice little shape here. So there we go, it's our first box. Let's go ahead and place these in place as we build them so we don't get them in the wrong spot later. So this one goes right here. Now, if you want to make this a little easier on yourself, you can always bend one tab in just a little bit, and this actually makes putting the pieces in a lot, a lot simpler. I might actually end up doing it in this case here. Because basically you get one side in, and then because the other tab is slightly bent, you can actually push it inside. But now I'm going to have to put, bend it in place and get it to go in like that. So you can either do it before or you can do it as you're placing it up to you. And all of these boxes are actually secured uh, for the most part with a twist, but this one is actually done with a bend. So we're gonna bend this one down and I'm actually going to bend these, you know what, let's bend them outward. There we go. Our next box is more of a rectangle and it's really scrawny. Now we can use our tab bending tool to bend any one of these, uh, which might come in handy a little bit later because they're such a tiny little bit of metal. And I just dropped a piece there. There we go, found it. Luckily it didn't fly off the table. See, these aren't magnetized, so the pieces don't stick to them. It actually might be better to use a smaller set of tweezers here. Finally, our uh, last little rectangle here. There we go. These guys are also placed in with a twist. One counterclockwise, one clockwise. There we go. And now we get to make a box with this little structure back here. So all we're gonna do is fold this up like that. Then we're gonna grab the back leaf here. We're gonna bend that in like these. And then we're gonna grab Okay, that's not bad at all. That actually looks really cool. Uh, now we gotta put these little slots in place and that's these guys right here. And with them, we wanna make sure that the big side, that's the uh, flat side here, is gonna go on the bottom this time. So let's start with the furthest side here. I think it's right here have to make sure because there's some other slots right next door to it and those are for some other detail later I assume
There we go, our three slots are now in place. Let's go ahead and move on to the next piece here, which is something we kind of built before. Um, I think we have all of our pieces here to do this. Uh, when I was cutting everything out, I should have double checked the instructions as I went. I didn't do that and I'm kind of regretting it now because I think I have some parts in the wrong place. Don't do what I did learn from my mistakes and only cut out the pieces you need when you need them. I just do this to kind of save time for when I'm making my videos. Okay, let's just move this aside for right now and grab this guy right here. It's the top piece. And uh, just like last time, we're gonna be bending these guys down. So let's take these little teeth here and do that real quickly. Get a little twist there. Over to the other side here. Give a twist here. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this piece. And once we install it, we're gonna actually make everything a lot better, a lot more straight. I think that's the best solution. I'm just not a huge fan of this particular part. I'm just, I'm just not. So let's go ahead and place it into place. And I think we're gonna be fighting this a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I think the hardest one's going to be getting it here. Okay, there we go, all fixed up. Basically what I did here is I accidentally put two part tens over on this side and uh, I realized the mistake when I came over here to put everything together because it had a really weird warping situation happening on this side. All it took was me just taking us apart quickly and then putting it back together with the proper pieces. But really the best thing to do is just always double check your work before moving on. Uh, anyway, now that this is all complete and looking schnazzy, let's move on to the next little bit here, which is kind of putting more of those little baffles into place. Let's see if we can uh, grab this piece here. And with these ones here, we want the small side on top, big side on the bottom. There we go. Whoops, that fell right out of place as soon as I let go of it. Second one here. Line this guy up here with the drawing and it should match right in. Whoopsie, did it again. There we go. Excellent. Okay, now we're gonna put some uh, outside detail here. Uh, let's see if we can get this to go. It doesn't actually indicate if it's supposed to be the engraved side or the non-engraved side. I do see that this is actually supposed to be slightly bent. So let's see if we can kind of do that with our bending tool here. Oh, actually, you know what? We just learned something. It's actually supposed to be bent the other way. So you are supposed to see the engraved detail. So one thing that they usually do is they tell you the engraved side on the outside. And with this particular case here, they didn't tell us that. But if we look, uh, we can see that the long side is supposed to be on the outside. So that means that the only way this can go on is with the engraved detail on the outside. So we have to fix this piece up just a little bit here. It doesn't take much to actually fix it, but there we go. And now we can place it on to our sub. All right, now we can take this stuff here. We can bend these into place. We're gonna take them like that. Come on the other side here, same thing. And we're also gonna grab the bottom here. There we go, our interior of our sub is all complete. Uh, now we can put this down. First thing we're gonna do is grab this long guy. And you can see that we have a, a grave side and a non-engraved side. I'm actually trying to see the difference here and I'm not seeing one. So um, let's see if there's a difference maybe in view. Okay, this is 43 I think. No, no, this is 43 here because it has the tabs. And what we're gonna do is, it doesn't seem to be a difference. So we're gonna just bend this up like this. That's our tabs. And then we are going to grab the 42 piece here. And as we put them together, we're gonna twist them.
Okay. It's still a little bit flimsy in the middle, and that's to be expected, to be totally honest with you. Um, what we're going to do is kind of reinforce it, though, with the stands here. And no, not the ones on Twitter. Or X, as we now call it. There we go. Excellent. Now with these ones. Again, I'm not expecting too much reinforcement from these stands because of where they're going, but once we place the bottom in place, you can see how it has a lock in there. That's when everything will be kind of really nice and steady. Okay, and now we're gonna get these little guys here, which are kind of the stands for the bottom. These will reinforce our stands here. Using pliers to bend these little pieces of metal actually makes it a lot easier and you get a way better bend out of it. Now we attach these guys in. And once you usually get the front or back tabs in, you normally the other ones fall right into place. There we go. All nicely connected. And now we can put this little uh, stand to the side here and begin work on our actual outside of our submarine. And I'm actually uh, kind of worried about this part. I've gotten a lot of people telling me that it's super important to make sure this hole is shaped correctly in order for everything to come together or else it's a real pain in the ass. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a combination of some tools to be able to help us with that. We're gonna use our little dapping set here to kind of round things out and hopefully that should prevent us from having too much of a struggle. Okay, now that I've kind of told you what we're in for, let's begin. Starting off with this guy right here. It's a little bit of side detail. We're gonna fold this in half. Just making sure I'm doing this right here. I think that's going to be folded like this. And I think they actually have a little bit of a fold like that. We shall see though, once we put this all on. I don't know if that should have been bended right in half, but we're going to find out. Okay, there's that little bit of detail. Let's grab this here. You know what? Oh, this is a difficult one. Let's put all of our pieces down on the table like this. Let's, let's stretch them out a little bit here. Okay, so I think I think that's kind of the general layout here, what we're doing. Uh, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to roll these guys. Okay, that's the kind of generic shape I'm going for. Now let's do the same with this guy here. Let's give us a definition. Like that, and then we're gonna roll. Okay. You'll see why I did that in a moment and it'll make all the much more sense to you. And again, it's really important we make sure we bend every piece of the metal. Okay, now the reason why I did that little ball there is because it kind of gave us a 3D effect here on the nose, which should help us out a little bit. You can see how it kind of gave a little bit of a funky shape here. That is the unfortunate 
uh, part of using these tools. If you press too hardly in any one direction, which I was pressing pretty hard there, uh, you can get some deforming. So just keep that in mind. It's not too bad, actually. It looks pretty decent. If anything, it kind of gives it more of a underwater look, but I think that actually isn't bad at all. How does this all look together? I think that's pretty good to start with. I think that's a pretty good start and we can kind of form out what we need to as we go along. So let's put these pieces back over here for right now and go back to this original piece and we can attach this little part that we already formed. And uh, what we're gonna do is just kind of move it like this. There we go. And you can see now how those tabs will get in the way later, right? It's a big pain in the butt. Now, these get all bent. Sorry, these all get twisted. Just like that. Okay. This piece here gets bent in half. And the larger side of the piece goes towards the rear. Ah, there we go. Now we get this part 50 here. And these are opposite of each other maybe? Hmm. So in this case here, it looks like we're using this one. Okay, and uh, this piece here is now done. So we can bring up this dude right here. All right, and this piece, we gotta take these tabs and bend them in 90 degrees. Like this. Both of those with a nice little twist, and it actually forms really nice in there. Okay. And actually, that tab on the bottom is supposed to be straight down for right now. So let's do that. Let's let's bend that back for right now. I've made a few mistakes on this build, but that's okay as long as we fix them together. Now, uh, let's go ahead and place these pieces together. They should, they should be pretty decently done. Um, they want these pieces. They want these tabs to be bent in, so let's do that. And now this should go right inside, just like that. Okay. Let's just twist it the other way. All right, now this other piece here. Okay. There we go. Now this is still a little flimsy, but that's okay. Because again, we're gonna attach uh, our pieces together. And once we do all that, things should be pretty good. Now let's see if we can uh, get everything together here that we need to get together. I'm I'm really like worried if this is gonna go together. Actually, we forgot a part. We, we've totally forgot a part. It's this little dude right here, a little triangle guy. Uh, we gotta form this one here. It's pretty simple to do. Just a triangle like that little tiny piece of metal on top we can bend a little bit and then press it down with the top of our tweezers just like this come over to this side here okay there we go nice little twist and a nice little twist here there we go. 
Now we have all of our pieces in place. Uh, we're gonna actually just gonna straighten that guy out a little bit. There we go. Now it's better. Okay, looking good. Close this guy up a little bit. All right, now we're ready to move on to the next bit here, which is the final steps. Let's put this down and we can move on to page seven, which has us building the last little bits of our pieces. Look at guys, we're almost done this. This is pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's take this little uh, guy here. And it looks like we're kind of putting some of the details we did from before onto this one. So let's grab this guy here, which we already kind of know. We need to bend kind of in half, but not all the way. Three, there we go. Bend that one in half. And again, just like before, we want to make sure the larger side or the longer side goes towards the back. Okay. I'm wondering if I need to bend this. I don't think, I think, I think this needs to stay straight um, because I'm pretty sure this is where the display is going. So we're not going to bend this piece here. Okay, let's leave this like this for right now. Um, I think I might have to do something with the propellers. I think they may have done that wrong. I'm a little confused. I'll have to take a look at the 360 picture to really kind of get a grasp of how those propellers are supposed to look uh, for the actual pictures. But for right now, let's move on. Uh, we're going to put this down. We're going to grab this piece here. And just like before, keeping that one on the bottom, we're not going to bend that one. We're going to bend the other two here on top, though. 90 degrees, 90 degrees. It's funny because sometimes it feels like the whole part wants to bend with the tab. And they actually want you to have a little bit of space in here. So I'm going to go like this and just kind of make a shaping improv shape there. I don't think, I don't know how much of a shape it really needs, but I'm going to go for that right there for right now. And I can do that with the other side too. It's actually pretty simple to do what I just did there. So we'll take a look at that in a moment and see how it looks. A little bit of 3D detail done super easily. Okay, now that we have these two pieces kind of formed and ready to go. Oh, they are supposed to be rolled. Shoot. Oh man. I, I miss, I didn't take a look at this. Oh no. Okay, it's not the end of the world. Um, what we can do is I can still shape things and we are going to. So we're gonna do this. And I'm gonna show you why sometimes putting this detail into place can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. I was trying to avoid that, but you know what? Sometimes guys, when we try to avoid things, I did look ahead in the instructions. You know, I just accidentally looked at these wrong and that's all it comes down to is I, I mistook these, but that's okay. That front actually shaped pretty well. Um, I did get a little bit of a kink here from pressing into that metal. That's interesting. Now, this is the one that's going to be a little bit more difficult. We're not going to be able to use the table as much, but maybe I can use a smaller dapping tool here to kind of help me get the shape I want. But I'm going to have to eyeball from our previous shapings um, the way that I got this. And you can see how these guys get in the way now, right? Okay, so we did that. And uh, we're also going to get a little bit of a shaping on these, which again, is kind of hard to do, but we're going to do it the best we can. Okay, all I'm doing is just pressing on them. That's, that's all I'm doing. I'm trying really hard to get some kind of a definition in them, which I think I achieved. And uh, it doesn't look like it's too hard right here, but we're gonna use our tweezers now. We're just gonna kinda, uh, you're gonna see me kind of do this by hand. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use multiple bends to achieve this. Bend them down 90 degrees. Bend these guys down 90 degrees. Get secured with a twist. So there's one. And here's two. Okay. There we go. They kind of pinched in the middle there. And I think it's because right here is a little bit too much. We'll find out though. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I think this will all kind of work out when we put it together. And um, I'm confident, I'm confident this is gonna work out, okay? So basically what we have here is we have the A structure, which is this guy right here. And we have a B structure, which is this guy right here. 
Then we have all the insides, okay? So we're gonna put this right now over to the side and we're gonna grab our big top piece here and we're gonna place this into the A shape, okay? Now all of these tabs are supposed to be bent down. But I don't know if that's gonna work out for us. Okay, and before we actually place this into place, what we need to make sure is that we orientate this to the instructions so that we know that we're putting the proper side on there. As you can see, there's actually some tabs that are not on one side, so if you find things are going together and, uh, well, they're not kind of matching up, you know why. Now, this little tiny piece here needs to fit through that little slot. There we go. And what we're going to do is we're not going to bend our tabs on the outside right away. Instead, what we're going to do is we are going to twist them and that's going to help us get everything into place. And then once everything's in place, we can actually go through and uh, unbend them and put them in the proper spot. Okay. So I thought more detail came on here, but it looks like these guys are just kind of flat. So like this. Yep, right through. <laughs> That's all we need to do. Okay. And now we can start fitting these guys into place. And like I said, it's going to be kind of hard to do. So we're going to secure these with a twist. And I'm kind of pressing in on this kind of hard. And that's just because I really want to make sure that we're getting good connections. These middle ones here, I'll go ahead and just kind of bend to show you the difficulty of them. These outer ones here are definitely going to have to be twisted though. Just for now, we'll come back. You're gonna get a nice little bend there, buddy. There we go. Okay, not bad. Let's just push this up a little bit here. Looks like we got some deforming on the front. So let's try to correct that now while we can. It looks like it's actually a result of the arm here. There we go. Let's kind of clean that up a little bit. Looks good. Now we get to put the interior detail into place. This gets put in like this, looks like. It gets inserted from the top. Now one is definitely in there now. The second one here is in place. The third one is not. And it looks like they're actually both kind of caught up on the edge. So if I can bring this into place, I can maybe, it's like almost like it's twisting. And I don't know if that's a result of the side panel or something happening there, but it's a weird thing taking place here, but we can fix it. All I'm doing is just pushing really hard on this right now. Okay, I think I got it through just by using these little guys here. And uh, for right now, like I said before, let's just do a little twist here on the back. And then these ones in the middle here actually should just, let's, let's do a twist on these guys here actually. I don't like the ones, how they're fitting. They're not fitting that great. So by putting a little bit of pressure on them, we can come back later again and we can like help this kind of go. We have this like kind of done. It looks nice. I, I do worry though about all this part coming on next because um, this is where some people say this is, this is where the difficulty comes in. So let's see how we do uh, with what we've done in our preparation. Now I'm looking at the bottom here and it looks like all these tabs should actually be bent down before we go any further. Um, and the reason for that is for the stand. So we're gonna do this just like that. Okay, there we go. And now these guys here, we're gonna bend like this because these are gonna go into the submarine. And I think this one here too, correct? Yeah, okay, these guys here too. Okay, there we go. Now let's place this into place. There we go. So what we're trying to do here is a multiple things. We're gonna get these wings here through first and that's gonna get us to a point 
that wing does have to be in place first. That little, and I'm calling it a wing. It's not a wing, but you know what I mean? That stabilizer has to be in place first, I think, um, before you can attach any of the interior pieces. So just keep that in mind. Okay. It's getting caught right here. So let's take that up. There we go. Again, the goal is to get this right there. Okay. Now, the only problem I'm having is this one right here, which, boom, goes to dynamite. Okay, now our next little bit here, I think is gonna be okay. Now that we got these guys here, let's bend them down. Okay, same with this one. Now we can work on this side here, just closing up our submarine. And for this, we're gonna need a little bit of manipulation, but not much. Okay. So this is actually a little bit more flat towards the back than I originally intended. And now, just a little bit of a bend down here. Okay, there's that one. And this one, we're gonna push that down into it and then we're gonna do this, like that. Okay, excellent. Alrighty, now the bottom here, the bottom here needs to be worked on a little bit now. Let's see. I think there's only like maybe one, maybe two parts we need to connect. That's one right there. And that goes like that. Cool. Now we just need to attach the stand and we need to put a little piece on the front. Uh, we're gonna do that one in a moment. Let's see if we can get this stand in place. This I think is gonna be difficult because it already seems like there's a little bit of off-centeredness here um, from the two pieces. So I think actually before I go any further, the best thing for me to do is to actually kind of work this a little bit. So let's do that. Okay, let's see if this goes. And again, they tell you here to uh, bend all these. We're gonna twist them temporarily until this is all completed and then we'll go back and bend them all over. All right, now that we got that side in, we can put a little bit of pressure on it and just start kind of attaching it in multiple spots. We got actually two tabs here we can secure. One and two. There we go. And again, we're just twisting these for right now. Okay, there we go. We kind of got it. Well, well, that's the that's our boat right there. No, no, no. <laughs> we definitely need to fix that. That's going to be a little bit of a forming thing, and I think it just more or less comes down to the fact that we need to almost make this a little bit fatter. And we can we can do that with some pressing kind of help it out a little bit, especially towards the rear here. And again, we gotta keep it uniform, so that's important. Okay, now that we got that though, let's do one of these. Okay. And we can grab our last piece here, and then we can work out all the stuff we gotta work out. So let's do this. There we go. All right, now that's all of our pieces. If you see like this, it goes down, it kind of goes on an angle. Um, that's, oh, we actually missed a spot right here on top. It looks like one of our pieces came undone. Let me see if I can fix that real quickly. There we go. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just press you like that. Okay, now. Okay, 
there we go. Our submarine looks pretty good. We put it down and it's pretty straight. It definitely has a little bit of a lean to it, but we can actually straighten that out just by kind of pushing on it a little bit more and letting it kind of ride itself out. But it's important that we be careful because we could accidentally warp this very easily. Let me just kind of do one of these. There we go. All right. And there we have it. Our U-boat all complete. <laughs>